Welcome back, realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I'm proud to bring you another property. This one is in Florida. It looks like it's mobile home friendly, and uh, I've heard you can camp on it in your RV too. So let's take a look at this thing. Um, it's in Northern Florida, it's in Hamilton County. We've got a half dozen properties in Hamilton County that just came up on, on the website on ruralvacantland.com. To get to that website, there's a link down below. But let's look at this one I'm, I'm talking about right now is asking $1,500. So $1,500 for this piece of land that you could put a mobile home on in Florida. The seller of this one is Jason Littard. He's the owner of the property. Jason Littard's name right up here, name, phone number. I've done numerous land deals with Jason and uh, it's always a stand up guy, just uh, easy to talk to. Um, comes on a lot of the live calls on Monday mornings too. If you ever sign in for those, we talk about land every Monday morning at 9 a.m. here on, on uh, realvacantland.com YouTube channel. So let's take a look. It's uh, He's got some pictures. These are all aerial shots, area photos. We don't have an actual picture of the specific property, but it's just it's woods uh, with a little street that goes up to it. So you probably got to bring a chainsaw if you're going to go move in there and um, knock some of those trees out. So a lot of the trees in the area are these pine trees that uh, the guys plant for forestry. They grow pretty fast. They grow pretty thick. And it's e easy to harvest them kind of every 10 years forestry pine trees. Um, so here's a, so some diagrams of the area. Uh, but that, that 10 year cycle rate of those trees tells you how fast they grow. They fill it in quick. So here's a property for sale. It's near Jasper is the town city or the city of Jasper. It's 18 or 19 miles from the city of Jasper. And it's the countryside. There's not very many people in this area for Florida standards. It's pretty, pretty sparsely populated and spread out. Interstate 10 is just a little bit south of here. And if you go jump on the 10, you can get to bigger towns and go to the beaches and go to go to Disneyland and stuff like that. But here's Walmart. It's about 25 minutes from the property, so you can get supplies there. Looks like this picture was taken Halloween time. <laughs> Got the Halloween stuff out in front of Walmart. Here's a, here's a college. There's a college, like community college. It's like 26 minutes from the property, so you're not totally out in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's a gas station. This is about 24 minutes from the property to get gas. Here's a shot of the, the, the property again. So we went in a circle. So I got the maps pulled up here. This map, you can see the roads a little bit better than the other map that we were initially looking at. It's a classic white uh, sandy roads in Florida from the old um, you know sea life that's there that's turned into sand. And now you get to drive on it, right? So there's a little cabin across the street. There's a cabin on the next block over. There's a block or, or a a lot or two down there's another cabin over there i don't know if people are actually using them i don't think we get street view in this area we don't get street view in the area but uh, it just looks like some nice thick trees maybe we get street view over here no um we have to really zoom out to get street view and uh so but there's a river it looks like a river coming not too far from the properties street view anywhere out here here we go so here we can find a turn off so it's this kind of trees, um, but more of the pine trees. These look like the thicker ones. So your turn off would be a road like this and uh, your dirt road, you know, paved up to dirt road. And you take the dirt road down to the last, the last mile or two to get to the actual property. Um, see if I can show you an example of these pine trees that are in the area. Um, So, I mean, it should be this. Well, these aren't pine trees either. Maybe it does look like this, but here's some of the pine trees. Here, now we're talking. So, this is more of what I, I picture the property to look like. Uh, it would be a dirt road driving up instead of this paved road that's in the area, but these kinds of pine trees. People plant these pine trees around because they're easy to harvest. You can sell them after 10 years. It doesn't take that much. So, there's a field over here that looks like it was cut in the past and then they never replanted it but this was replanted. So then they come back thick and strong like this and you can sell them off again and again. So that's where a lot of this land comes from is people will, after they harvest off the trees, they'll cut it up into housing lots like this and sell off the housing lots. So I think that's where you're getting this property. I think somebody sold the housing lots off in the past and the trees have grown back in over time and now it's, it's going again. So there's a buy it now on this one. You can go to the property, take a look at it, do the buy it now. If you click the buy it now, $1,500, well, they're asking in a $250 dock fee too. So I guess that'd be $1,750 all in. 
to get the property in your name. Still pretty cheap for land in Florida. Um, so we got a legal description. We got uh, address of the property. It's got a mailing address. We got GPS coordinates to the property. We got GPS coordinates to the corners of the property. They're saying it's a dirt road. It's flat. I mean, this whole area is just flat, dead flat. Dock fee, two hundred fifty dollars. Um, yeah. So I was going to tell you what the taxes are, but I don't see the taxes. We should check what see what the taxes are. Um, but uh, there's the property. I mean, you can go go for it. I doubt the taxes are that much. Jason Lydiard says name and number for uh, for him to you know to go talk about the property. So if this is the right one for you, click on that buy it now link. Go make it happen. Or if you have questions, talk to Jason Lydiard. He's he's uh, there to answer questions. Or his partner Trevor Hartstock he answers the phone too, answers questions and things as well. So uh, thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We've got more of these kinds of properties in ruralvacantland.com. Hit that link below. It'll take you back to this one and others like it. Thanks. See you in the next one.